Hi! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tia, if you haven't been here before. Um, and this video today, the star of the show is gonna be Lois Cosmetics Glow and Rope Palette. Let's look like this. And then Lois Cosmetics um, Eye Glitters. So I'm gonna be using all of this on my face today. And I'm gonna be doing this eye look with you guys and kind of chat to you a little bit. I've been gone forever. Like I last filmed, I think, in October. But I'm now, yeah, like my school work is done. Like I'm graduating next month. I'm like waiting just to get my papers out. So I have more time in my hands now to like focus on more to this YouTube and do more videos and edit and everything like that. I've been like this last two months, I've been like trying to get my setup perfect so so the filming would be as easy to me as it can. So yeah, I'm now like ready to film, ready to produce more content to my YouTube channel and hopefully get my channel demonetized in the like 2021. So fingers crossed that will happen. If you want to help me with that, always subscribing to my channel helps, commenting, giving my videos a thumbs up, coming to my lives, I'm planning on doing the lives again. I'm, I'm thinking maybe once a month or twice a month I would do a live with you guys. And yeah, also if you want to check my other social medias, here are my Instagram and Twitter I use mostly Instagram, sometimes Twitter, but you can check them out. Yeah, I don't think we should bore you guys too much with the long intro. So if you guys want to see me use this palette, these eye glitters creating this look, then please do keep on watch, watching. <laughs> So I've done my one eye ready and now we're gonna do this eye on camera. I'm gonna prime with my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I'm gonna use my um, Sigma E75 for... Ew, it has a hair on it. Go away. Yeah, so I'm gonna prime with this one. I like this primer a lot. It's really light and it, um, it, it just works really well on me. I'm not sure do I like this more than the P. Louise, but I haven't used P. Louise that much lately, so. I'm gonna take my sponge and just blend the excess like because we don't want there to be like too much product on there. Alright. That's the base done and we can start for the eyeshadow. So we're using my Gone Rogue palette that I got from Teresa. It looks like this and we're gonna start with this shade the dark purple called Non-Conformist Conformist Non-Conformist Don't know how to pronounce that but okay and I'm using my Sigma E47 this is a, like a travel brush, but it doesn't matter. I like this brush. I need to buy this like on a... Um, and I'm gonna like try to get like the same shape that I have on here. 
So I'm starting with like lines in and then like just getting the pigment. These shadows are so pigmented that you don't need much like they're really like really pigmented but really blendable so start with little and build from there because the first time I used this palette I made the mistake of uh, using too much and because this is so like blendable uh, this tape is like itching my eye because these are so blendable you can like go really overboard. Try to match the other side. I haven't done a, like a full cut crease in a while. So, don't know how. I'm gonna, I think this should be a little higher here. I'm gonna start with that shape. Then just a little bit like blend the edges, just a tad. And then I'm gonna take my Sigma E42. I, I really like Sigma brushes, so I'll be using a lot of those today. And now I'm gonna take the shade Underdog. It's this purple here, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> It's so hard to figure out where to point. Yeah, the lighter purple. And we're gonna start to build, build, not build. We're gonna start to blend this darker purple out. Yes. So I have a film after Halloween and and I'm like still learning to use my camera. Okay, she's here now. Yes. Okay. We're gonna have a kitty break now. I see. Yes. Yes. Okay, can mommy do her makeup look now? No? But mommy needs to film now, Cleopatra. So yeah, I'm just gonna start to blend this darker purple with the lighter one. And these really are pigmented, so you don't need to take a lot. Like, if you look at this, it's enough. Like, so lightly press it, and like you have more than enough. Like, Lois has done an amazing job here. I have to say that I this is my second time using this palette, but I think this might be my new favorite eyeshadow formula. Like it's just superior to anything I've ever tried, to be honest. And I want every single eyeshadow palette from them now, so I, I can blame that on Teresa though because she gifted me this so I say I said to her that every purchase after this is on her. So Teresa, I'm gonna blame you. Yeah, so little by little this starts to blend out pretty. And this is like going back and forth. So this is just the first layer that I'm building. I think I went about three times here. Just to build on the colors and get the like opacity in the blend that I want. Then I took my like little dose of colors. Whoops, little dose of colors brush. This came from a palette. So I'm taking this fluffy side and I just blended that a little bit because I wanted to see could I get away with just using these two and probably I could like it's not like 
these blend so nicely but I wanted to add like a lighter purple and because this palette doesn't have a lighter purple I took my Beauty Bay Pastels palette and I took this shade and I'm gonna blend that now over the top and I'm gonna use my Luxie 121 mini tapered so I'm gonna just take a bit of that and so now we're just working on the blend to get it nice and smooth and pretty <laughs> Yeah. I'm just gonna go back and forth with the colors like a couple more times and then we can cut. I'm thinking should I cut my crease ready? I haven't done it in a video. Maybe we'll do it on the video. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna work on this and then we can come back enough. Pavo is now on his computer, so if there's like some sounds, I'm sorry. He, like those sounds, I'm sorry. The chair Pavo uses is so squeaky. Like it drives me crazy when I'm editing. Sorry. Pavo, sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna use my Nivea eye makeup remover. This one and some q-tips and i'm gonna remove some of the shadows let's start removing some of this i feel like i can work with that shape Yeah, I feel like that's close enough. All right, so now I'm gonna use the Revolution Eye Base just to trace that around. And I'm using Makeup Forever 2S. This is like a really old brush, but it's so tiny, like super like tiny. So it's easy to like, do a cut crease. Yeah. So just to, first I'm gonna just trace it around. Like, doesn't have to be that neat because I usually then go and like sharpen it up. Yeah, this is so hard to film because I need to be so close to my mirror. I can see everything that I'm doing. I'm just gonna neaten this up a bit off camera so I can get really close to my mirror and then we can continue. But you get the idea. So now I'm just gonna fill this up. I sharpened it and I'm pretty pretty happy with the shape and how they're matching so I feel like this eye might be a little higher but my eye shapes are different so it is what it is that'll do like Teresa always says. Okay, so now back with this palette, I'm gonna take the outside of the box, this green, this one, then I'm gonna take the blue, and then the, this is hard, and then these two purples on the outer corner. So the green is gonna come here first, and then it's gonna be the blue, which is called I'm Free, and then the non-conformist non -conformist and underdog are gonna blend it out. And I'm gonna leave like a space between the shadows and the cut crease because I'm gonna add 
the Lois Cosmetics liquid clit liquid glitters glitter 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 Matty are you happy now um but yeah I'm gonna add this is the Queen's card of the Lois Cosmetics liquid glitters I'm gonna add it as a like this you can see it here yeah let's do that okay so yeah if the base has creased I always like to tap out the creases because you don't really want to set set the base with creases so this is just a cheap wisp brush but I like this flat brush for my shimmers live for these greens I've been so obsessed with green lately you wanna guess why? Well, because Teresa has brainwashed me. I've been way too much hanging out with Teresa and she's now brainwashed me to like green. So <laughs> yeah. Then I'm gonna clean my brush quickly. Then I'm gonna get the I'm free. I'm going to take that on my brush and give it a couple spritz, spritz. then we're going to just add it here. Cleopatra is clearly not having me to film. She's like, no mommy, no. Then I'm gonna again just use the same brush. I'm gonna take the darkest purple we used and I'm gonna just fill this wing. I kind of like to have a matte here always, like a matte shade. I don't know why but I feel like shimmers don't look that good there on me. Now we're gonna start to blend this outer corner. I'm gonna take underdog and just like wiggling my brush here. Gonna take the non con from non This is mixing beautifully with the shimmer like all of these shadows are like you can blend these out so pretty like all of them blend together and they look just amazing I feel like that was so easy like usually I have to blend forever and ever and ever to get it like right okay now I'm gonna go with the Lois Cosmetics what are these called? Something. I don't remember and it doesn't say on the tube. But they're like the liquid glitters and this is Queen Scarred. And I'm gonna take it on this BH Cosmetics. This is from the Rose Gold set so it's number 12. But I have like cut this hair. It's really really like thin because it was too chunky. Yeah, and now I'm gonna do about two layers. These liquid glitters also are really pretty. I have two other shades also. I have the Throne and Kingdom, the green and the bronzy one. I really can recommend these. I've used the green one already like all over my lid and it was really pretty. So now, just thinking, there isn't like a bra bone highlight shade in here. I'm gonna use my soft palette and the uh, purple shade. Yeah. Oh wow, that is stunning. Yeah, 
So now is the fun part of peeling this. Let me see. Oh, that wasn't that satisfying, but it is clean. I'm gonna take this makeup wipe, and I do have fallout, but I don't mind that because you know I always do my eyes first, so. Yeah, now I'm gonna go and do my base, my brows, yeah. Okay, so I did my base, I used my MAC Studio Fix Foundation, my Collection Last Imperfection Concealer, um, I used um, MUA Blushed, Tiger Lily Cream Blush and LA Girl Pro Conceal Medium Bisque as a like a cream bronzer more because it's not a contour shade for me. Then I used um, this Lacura Cheeky Cheeks palette as a blush so I used the blush shade and the bronzer shade from here. Then I used these, the gold and the purple shade mixed as my highlight. I really like the mixed. I mixed more of the gold. Did I mention everything? Yeah, I think I did. So now we can do my lower lash line. So this is Berry M High Vis Eyeliner in Caution. So I'm gonna have this on my waterline. Did I say waterline just now? I don't know. I hate doing this. And I'm gonna start with non conformist And I'm really gonna like tap this off because now I don't want any fallout. I'm gonna start by adding that on my outer corner because I want my like outer corner to be the deepest then we're gonna clean this brush up and we're gonna take the blue uh, this one me battery died so where were we with the blue shade. Spritch it and we're gonna put it right on the center. Can I again just rub my brush off and I'm gonna take the green. These are really soft so don't do as I did and just duck your brush in. It's like better if you don't do that. And then this is gonna come here. And then we could take like a this brush. Just gonna and I don't have any product on here, but I just want to like soften this, this like lines here a bit. Yeah, I think that's great. Add this glitter on my inner corners because why not add a little bit of more glitter? So just tapping this. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty on the inner corner. Wow, this might be a new favorite because it's like beaming. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add a touch, just a like smitching, smitching of the purple shade of here. Soft palette from Revolution. 
just to like yeah almost that so pretty so I'm gonna add some mascara and a little bit of liner so I'm gonna use this Maybelline lasting trauma eyeliner just to make it like a thin line of where my lashes are gonna go okay for mascara I'm gonna use Too Faced better than sex I'm just gonna finish I'm gonna add my lashes I'm gonna do a lip figure out what to do on the lips maybe do something with this hair and then we can see the finished look so this is the finished look what do you guys think so I used the Tati Lashes triple thread lashes I used my um, Essence Ultra Last lip liner mm, where's the name where's the name the name has rubbed off but this one and then for my lips I used my NYX lingerie O2 embellishment like this cool toned purpley color I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit I'm gonna show you the eyes yeah I really like this look and I think it really came out well really the best thing of like 2020 I think best palette from 2020 might be this one um, these colors blend out so nicely and like can swatch a couple that I didn't use maybe the glitter the glitter is kind of hard to use but you can use them like you can see there the colors are really pigmented saturated I haven't played with the warm tones yet for this palette but that like I've used it once before and I did like a purpley green look but not the same as this. I can pop a picture here that I did before and I really liked it. Really do like this palette and also these glitter eyeshadows. Whoops. These glitter eyeshadows are really gorgeous. They look beautiful on the eyes that you can use them like I used as a liner or you could use them all over your lid as an inner corner highlight anything and these are really good and really affordable this brand is in my opinion indie brand done right I feel like it's this is not too expensive it's amazing formula like Lois has really nailed down the formula on this one and I want to try the rose gold is it rose gold or something rose I want to try that one also and I'm excited to try more from this brand and thank you Teresa thank you so much for sending this me sending these to me as a gift I really do appreciate it appreciate it you're my lovely friend I really love you and and I'm happy to like I'm, I'm so happy just that I got to try this brand in this year because it's been on my list it's been on my list the things to try and I'm definitely hooked now thanks to you Teresa um I think that's about it from this video let me know what you want to see me film in the future because I'm now like try trying to get back into filming I'm not gonna promise how many videos in a week I'm gonna see how it goes like if I'm 
Now I'm feeling like I can film like a two videos a week or one video a week and then edit them. But let me know like in the comment section what would you like me to do? Would you like me to use some palettes? Like I have pretty much this basket full. Ugh, it's so heavy. This basket full of palettes to try. Do you want to? I was thinking I'm gonna try to film like a collection video. Like start again. I did like a, I have my palette collect, palette, um, my eyeshadow palette collection video up, but I'm gonna do another one because my collection has grown so much. So I'm gonna do all or like everything in my collection and then I'm gonna probably the last video would be like my beauty space tour. So those I know that I want to film this year. But then let me know like what do you want to see from me. So yeah, this is it for this video. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also if you could please, please, please be so kind to subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow and get demonetized. And I really, really, really appreciate all the support you can give my, my channel. So yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.